Hey guys, it is Thursday. It feels like it's been forever since I vlogged last, and I guess it has. I guess a few things have changed. I mean, I have a pink wall now. I still haven't put up all of my pictures that I was hang that was hanging on it before, so I still need to do that. So the wall will probably change. I'm also filming from a different spot now because I normally film in front of my door, but I felt like filming here so I can show you guys the wall. And maybe this will become a permanent thing. Maybe it won't. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm just thinking about changing up filming locations. Anyway, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever. It's been forever since I vlogged. It feels weird. But hi. I thought today I would talk about bathrooms, public bathrooms to be more specific, especially how lots and lots of public bathrooms have automatic things in them where they don't need to be automatic. So you walk into a bathroom, you, you go into the stall or whatever, and so you're going to the bathroom and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, whoosh, the toilet flushes and you're like, um, I, I'm not done yet. So I don't understand the point of automatic toilets, especially also sometimes you'll get up off the toilet and be like out of the stall and then you have to go back in and scream at the toilet because it hasn't flushed yet. You're like, why haven't you flushed? But yeah, so automatic toilets are just stupid, especially since what's so bad about touching the handle? You just proceed to go and wash your hands afterwards. That brings me to another thing. Automatic sinks, I can actually understand, because you use your dirty hands to turn on the taps, and then you have to use your clean hands to turn off the taps, so that does make sense. I do understand automatic sinks, although I find them really annoying, because you normally have to have your hands, like, wedged up against the side of the sink, so you can't actually wash your hands properly, because you're, like, trying to make it so the water stays. But one thing that's really stupid is automatic soap dispensers what's the purpose of those? So you put your hand underneath the automatic soap dispenser and you get soap. So you're not touching the soap dispenser so you're not getting germs on it and not getting other people's germs but you're just about to wash your hands. Why does it matter? So automatic soap dispensers are really stupid. And then there is the stupid automatic paper towel dispensers. Now paper towel dispensers, you've already washed your hands, why do you need them to be automatic? But what's annoying about paper towel dispensers is they never go off when you need them. You guys spend like doing some crazy dance in front of them, and by the time you finally get paper towel, your hands are already dried from shaking them around like a madman. And so then you're like, well great, now I got this piece of paper towel and I don't know what to do with it. The only things that actually need to be automated in bathrooms is you need to have an automated sink or like one of those push the tap in sinks and they'll come out by itself. But ones that last more than two seconds because then you end up having to push it the entire time and it doesn't help. But you need ones that will like last a good, you know, 20 seconds or something like that when you push it. Those, those are good. Then it doesn't need to be automatic. You can use your physical strength to turn on the tap. And doors. Or at least a door that opens out so that you can not have to touch the handle when you're leaving because I don't trust the people who wash their hands sometimes when they're leaving the bathroom. But you don't need to have automatic soap dispensers or automatic toilets or any of those other things. It's just stupid and a waste of electricity. That's just my opinion on the topic. Um, I guess I will see you guys next week. I hope all of your classes have been going super awesome. And that is about it. I will talk to you guys next week. Bye!